In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, dear faithful. Following Peter's profession of faith, Jesus takes this wonderful opportunity to continue his teaching in order to make himself better known and to announce the important stages to come in his construction of the church and of the kingdom of God. This is how he makes his first announcement of what will happen to him. For example, his passion, his death, his cross, and finally the resurrection. He decisively invites them to leave Jerusalem to experience this decisive turning point in his life. Jesus is keenly aware of his identification with the suffering servant. He must go through death and resurrection, but above all, through the rejection of his own and of the religious body of his people. Peter and the rest of the apostles are in shock and scandalized. Peter refuses this prospect, and it creates tension with Jesus. He certainly wants the glorification of Jesus, but without going through the death and pain. To better understand Peter's reaction, let us remember that Judaism at the time of Jesus, the idea of a suffering Messiah was inconceivable, hence Peter's cry. It will not happen to you, he said. A Messiah on the cross, it's impossible. It does not have attraction because the Messiah invokes an envy of God and a power savior. Jesus is the son of God alive. It is madness, a scandal, and it is discouraging for the gains of the apostles and its many disciples. It cannot be, and yet that is what it is. For Jesus, in his plan of salvation, Passion is necessary because there can be no victory without struggle. He must face evil, sin, and death to open the path of life to the realities of human existence, a path which will end with triumph. Our stone, the founder of his church, has become a stumbling block, a tension, a quarrel for the re realization of the plan of salvation. It is imprudent and it can compromise the future of the kingdom of God, of all the disciples. This impulsive stone is the typical believer that we are at the same point in our discipleship. Jesus is compelled to stay scornful and to say scornful words to Peter and to anyone who goes against this dynamic of the Paschal mystery of our Lord Jesus Christ. Get behind me, Satan. Your thoughts are not those of God, but of men and of women. Yes, the saving mission is dangerous. Whoever wants to be a disciple must renounce himself and take up the cross and follow him. Each Christian must face evil, sin, and death to follow Jesus on the path he himself has traced. St. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, asks every disciple to offer his body, his life, in free sacrifice in order to live fully in the union of the passion of Jesus. Whoever will lose his life because of Jesus will find it. The kingdom of God is built according to the mind of the living God and not according to that of man. In this difficult, it is this difficult tension that the prophet Jeremiah saw within his mission for his people during the years of spiritual decline followed by the deploration of Babylon. He has no choice. He must follow the instructions of God of Israel, whether he likes it or not. His preaching consists in predicting the catastrophic in the hope of opening in the conversation of the kingdom of the people. He is torn between the call of God, which prompts him to speak, and human wisdom, which urges him to be silent. There are... They are there, all famous, where the interior debate is played out like a blazing fire in the heart, which does not control. He will be given a place to anyone because his passion for God is strong in front of the fear and of the persecutions. The disciple of Christ that we want to be must accept a personal transformation, which gives him different clarity and capacities. It is necessary to arrive at a total conversation and adequacy with the Christian vocation of missionary disciple. We must be at the mercy of the tenderness of God, St. Paul says. 
it will not be easy. It is a real cross, a cross that leads us to salvation. One must act and live in persona of Christ, in the name of Christ. The good question that comes back to us on this Sunday is, who is so, Lord, to love us so? Yes, love and love us all until you die on the cross. For our salvation, he makes our life spring from his death. Let us be his disciples after his heart, people capable of carrying the cross in his wake. May God the Father, with the help of the Holy Spirit, accompany us on this spiritual combat with a view to our salvation. Have a good Sunday. Have a good week. Stay safe. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.